In the previous movie we set everything up, I just stopped the installation program and I'm going to restart from now so we can here press start up to this guest operating system. So this is the hardware we're having, sound card, uh, sound card has been detected etc etc. It's going to boot, I'm just going to wait a few seconds and see what the installation looks like. Maybe nice tip while we wait. You see in the left corner, the bottom corner, to return to your computer, cr press Ctrl Alt, which is a very interesting button to have your mouse back so we can move it back in, back in and out of the, the window. And this is a very good tip. Here you can see what's happening hard disk, CD, printer, all the devices are listed at the bottom. And let's go over this one as well. Show the thumbnail bar. Enter full screen mode. Will be interesting in the future. Switch, etc. And snapshots, I think it is. Yep, manage snaps. These are all three icons for snapshot. Voila, we're installed. As you can see, my mouse is inactive, but once I press in this window, I am able to do stuff inside of this computer. So we're actually having two operating systems. One here, where there is a sunset, and another one where you can see the installation of KDE. So, install Linux Mint, straightforward. As with all installations of Linux Mint, it's very easy, it's great wizard to install your system doesn't take you to code doesn't need you to code any uh, terminal stuff or th things like that so please choose the language I maybe make it a bit, a bit bigger like that so English is okay for me and then we should go forward No, I don't want to quit. I do want to go on. I'm not sure why I'm staying here. I am I think I cannot see the rest, so let's make it a big screen. Same applies. Can't see it. Can't seem to see it. So no problem. Let's go and go a little bit smaller again. And let's take this button here. Let's ask for the display. Ooh. Type it better. Even better. Oh, <laughs> they're still in QWERTY. So display settings. And let's make the screen a bit bigger. Okay, control module. So mm, virtual one. So not what we need. It was the other display that we needed. Let's play configuration. I'm having this back here, but should have a, an also an arrow from go on next one. <laughs> Great. I don't want that. No. Let's see. Mm, this will probably be enough already and save enough to apply and there you have our button continue cancel and we can go on it's these little things that you come across and then you say wow I get stuck and then you stop installing it all right guide it's use entire disk yes since we are on the Linux Mint inside a virtual machine we're giving it three uh, 30 gigabytes you can take it all, no problem. Blah blah blah. Oh, go back. Sorry, guys. It wasn't go back, it was okay. Go ahead, continue. 
and we are from Belgium, yes guys. Belgium, 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 otherwise you choose your one, the one you want. And then here we go again. And a password, very complicated one. And I have, the name is here, require my password to log in. No, don't care, log in automatically, continue. Voila. Now